Right, you guys, we're going to be fixing this PC problem right now. It's a driver issue. As you can see here, if I go into Device Manager, you're going to see there is an issue with Realtek. Now, this is a pretty common problem, and Realtek drivers are always failing, and this one has code 56. So how can we go about fixing this? I'm going to show you a real simple way of fixing this particular issue right here. There's quite a few ways to go about doing this. So I'm going to show you a bunch of them. Even though I fixed this issue, I will show you some other things you can try just in case the first method doesn't work for you. So first off, you need to try to update your driver. It says the best driver for this device is already installed. Now, that is not always the case. Microsoft doesn't always give you the very latest drivers. As you can see here, this is from 2016. So what can you do? Well, there is websites where you can go to try to download the latest drivers. I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this uh, issue here. I'm going to go into settings here. First thing I'm going to try is going into uh, the network and internet. Go down here where you see your uh, network and internet settings. From here, we're going to go to advanced network settings. Inside here, we're going to go down to where it says network reset. And we're going to click on network reset. So click on network reset and now you should see reset now we're going to reset our network settings believe it or not this actually fixes this known issue with Realtek. it will say uh, that your pc will restart in five minutes i'm going to quickly restart the system and uh, reset the network now and then we'll restart the pc and see whether that resolves and fixes the issue you can see we still have no internet at the moment the internet is off so we need to try to resolve this issue. So let me go ahead and uh, restart the computer and see whether this resolves the problem. And we can move on to method number two. So let me quickly restart the computer here. I'm going to go to the start button here and restart the PC. Now, for some strange reason, when you reset your network settings, this resolves the issue for this particular problem with Realtek drivers. I don't know why, it just does. But if we look down the bottom right hand side, you will see we do now have internet connectivity down there. And if we click the start button and go to uh, device manager here and look inside here, you will now see the triangle has now been removed and the driver is now working correctly. And it's just, it really sort of baffles me sometimes these fixes, why they work and why there's an issue there. It's obviously some sort of bug that stops this from working correctly. And this can be very, very frustrating. If we go in here, the error code has now gone. Now it hasn't updated the driver. The driver is exactly the same as it was before. As you can see here, it's the best driver, which is according to Microsoft installed on this computer. So it must be some sort of bug for with the Realtek why it just keeps uh, disconnecting and it gives you that triangle. So next, what you can do, if it's still not working for you, you can look inside details here and look for hardware ID. And we're going to look for the actual number, which is listed here. Now, the hardware ID is a driver ID that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and copy this. And what you can do is do a search for this particular uh, driver here. So let's go ahead and do a search. Now, if you look on here, this is uh, on the TP-Link website. Now, sometimes this can happen with older hardware. This is an older uh, Wi-Fi uh, connector here. And again, you can go to the manufacturer's website here. When I did a search, it was giving me this information here, download the software from here. And you should be able to still get that uh, driver for that particular hardware. Now, depending on what operating system you're using, it may not support that new operating system that you're on. And you may need to upgrade your hardware to a newer version. But I'm going to go ahead and download and install the driver from the manufacturer's website. In this case, it's TP-Link. And you can see here, you can get a different variety of drivers depending on what model of hardware you're trying to uh, download and update. Now remember, some of the utilities or software that you're downloading, which is for that particular piece of hardware, uh, and you download the driver software, it may not be compatible with the actual operating system that you're trying to download and install it on. For instance, we're on Windows 11 here, and I know for a fact that this uh, Wi-Fi dongle is pretty old. And this is pretty common for a lot of people. They have an older piece of hardware that still works, and they want to continue to work it. Maybe they've now reinstalled Windows or upgraded Windows, and now that dongle or that piece of hardware is not working. 
and they're trying to now get it working. And unfortunately, sometimes the manufacturers don't release uh, software updates or driver updates for that particular hardware. Now, sometimes you can get the driver to work, but sometimes you can't get the software to work. And again, we've got the software working on this one, so it does work. Now, another place you can get driver updates is the Microsoft Update Catalog. You can head over there and download the drivers. Sometimes they're on their website, and you can download the latest drivers from here as well and install those. You can see here, this is a cab file, and we're basically going to install this on the system. Now, you might have trouble downloading this, and you might need to go down and allow that to go through because for some reason it gets blocked. But once you get this downloaded, you can then try to install it. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the driver date here, and we'll take a look. So go back into Device Manager here, and we're going to go to our TP-Link uh, wireless USB adapter here. And you can see here, if we go in here, this software is even older. You can see 2012. So you can still get it working with older drivers. But obviously, you want to use the latest drivers if possible. So what we're going to do is go into uh, the driver update software here. You can see search for updates and drivers on Windows updates. And we can also go browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick uh, these drivers. And you can now see in the selection here, we do have that older driver, which we add in there already. And they should be listed there. They don't get deleted. They stay on your computer. And you can reselect that, and it will now give you the 2016 driver again and it's working and it's still working on this system so have a look around for drivers if you're having issues trying to get a piece of hardware working i'm pretty sure there's a way to go around getting these drivers you can also run internet connection uh, troubleshooter as well this sometimes can fix issues especially because we reset the network there may be some sort of issue there but trying the internet connections troubleshooter can sometimes fix it if you're still having trouble trying to get a driver for it, you can try uh, Glenn's page, which is the Snappy Driver Installer Origin. Make sure it's from Glenn Delahoy and basically download his program here. It's safe to download. Once you get this downloaded, you can run it on your system and it will find drivers uh, for you and download them and install them onto your PC. Now, if you've got an older system, this program can work really well with really old systems that are with obsolete drivers that you can't get from the manufacturer's website. And sometimes you can get older hardware working with programs just like this. So let me go ahead and extract his program here. And we're going to basically run this one here. We want to run this one where it says X64 because we're running a 64-bit operating system. And again, this is the uh, program itself. If you've got a 32-bit, you can run the 32-bit version. I'm going to run the X64 version here. Right-click on this. And we're going to run this as administrator here. So we're going to go run anyway. Say yes here. And uh, you can see, make sure it says Glenn Stewart Delahoy. If it says his name there, then it's uh, registered to him. This is the one you want to use. We're going to accept his terms and conditions here. And from here, what we're going to do is let this uh, go through. So I'm just going to close this off. And you've got three options. Download all driver packs, which we don't want to do. Download network drivers only. If you want network drivers just to work, you can get that done there. Download index only. That's what we're going to go for, the indexes of these. Put expert mode on, and you can put the check marks into the driver packs that you're trying to look for, whether it be older drivers, unknown drivers, and things like that. Now, this works really well with older systems as well, older computers with old legacy drivers. It can find those and get those working. And manufacturers sometimes see support for those drivers and they take them off their website and it makes it very difficult to find those drivers again with older hardware like old laptops and things like that. So using this software can get you out of a jam. Once it's finished its scan, there'll be a long list of drivers there. There's none on here available for me, but basically you'd have a long list of drivers and you just click on install and put the check marks in the one you want to install and update that computer with all those drivers. It's safe to do and it's very easy to do. It's a super easy way to fix driver-related issues. And again, this method will work for pretty much any driver problem. But this one was related to uh, Realtek drivers, which are normally problematic. But again, use this method for any type of driver issue or for any version of Windows operating system. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to my tier three group, which is Waleed, also RTX Brody, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, also Geo Sam and Welsh Tony. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Thank you.